Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will show you the different types of statistical function which is present in the ClickSense and their implementation is very straightforward. So if you are a statistician or you have the knowledge of statistician and you are coming here uh, from the perspective of uh, you know what are the functions which is available and how you can implement it based on the different parameters that it takes then these are the functions so first one is the chi distribution so this function returns the one tailed probability of chi square distribution and uh, the parameter that it takes is the value and how many degrees of freedom right so then you have chi inv this function returns the inverse of one tailed probability of the chi square distribution and what it takes is the probability and degrees of freedom. So this function gives you the probability based on the value and it does the opposite of this. It takes a probability along with degree of freedom and gives you the value back. Then you have the norm dist which is normal distribution. It returns the cumulative normal distribution for the specified mean and standard deviation. So mean equals to zero and standard deviation is one. The function will going to return the normal standard deviation and that's the information it takes it takes a value it takes the mean and standard deviation and will tell you whether uh, the value follows a standard deviation uh, the standard distribution or not or normal distribution or not to be specific then you have norm inv which is inverse where it takes or uh, the probability the mean and the standard deviation and gives the value back so here we take the value and give you the probability here we take the probability along with mean and standard deviation and give you the value back then you have uh, tdist which is uh, it returns the probability for students t distribution where a numeric value is calculated and the parameter it takes the function name is tdist the value the values or the parameters it takes is the value degree of freedom and the tails information that's a one tail or two tail. then you have tinv which is inverse of t uh, distribution of what we saw it over here it takes the probability and degree of freedom and give you the information back then you have the f distribution as you can see this function returns the f distribution and here is the quick function uh, parameters so function name is aftist it takes the parameter of value degree of freedom one degree of freedom two uh, from the data set that you have and then it's the inverse where it takes the probability with those two degree of freedom and give you the value back so these are the different functions which you can see very easily you can implement in the click sense uh, by going into the measure and uh, if this is what you are looking from from the data set uh, that you are having any of these functions then by using the functions that you have you can implement it so that's pretty much it uh, what i have to show you about the different types of statistical functions which are present here and i'll meet you in the new video with some new information